and welcome to Play and Learn at Home by the Arapaho Libraries. I'm Betsy and I am the Family Place Coordinator for the District. Family Place Libraries promote a play-based approach to learning and provide information and support for families with young children ages 0 to 5. Our focus this month is on the early literacy skill called phonological awareness. This is the term for being able to hear that words can be broken down into smaller sounds and being able to play with those sounds. This skill helps children sound out words when they start to learn to read. While children can develop this skill through any of the five early literacy practices, reading, writing, singing, talking, and playing, in this short video, I will focus on ways that music and singing can help. You'll also find that music can help ease transition times and develop a child's self-regulation skills. Let's get started. First, let's compare reading a song to singing a song. If you were to read, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. That would be different from what it would sound like if you sang it. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. You can hopefully hear that singing slows down language and makes it easier to really hear the smaller sounds that make up the words. So singing is the first fun thing. To help your baby physically feel the rhythm of the language before they can sing along, you can gently bounce them on your lap as you sing or do action rhymes. It's helpful to have your child face you so that they can watch your facial movements while you sing or talk. Here's a fun one. You would read or say, tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. But you will sing or chant, tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock, tick tock, tick tock, now it's chiming one o'clock, cuckoo. And then you could add on two and three. Toddlers and preschoolers are ready to physically play with beat, with rhythm instruments. You can just clap, you can knock two wooden spoons together, or maybe you have some shaker eggs at home. You can clap or shake your shaker egg on each syllable or just on each word. In addition to hearing individual parts of words, it helps when children can distinguish between different sounds. So use different tempos, sing and clap faster and slower and invite your children to do the same. Play with different dynamics, sing and clap loudly and softly. And you definitely do not need to rely only on children's songs. Using a variety of music can help children learn to pay attention and focus on different sounds. Here's an easy rhyme to play with. We use this a lot in our story times. Bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as loudly as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, jelly and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. And then you can also sing, clap hello uh, fast and slow. In addition to helping children develop phonological awareness, Singing and playing with music can help children learn to handle transitions more easily. Self-regulation is the ability to control one's emotions when frustrated, control impulses, and refocus attention on new tasks. It can definitely be hard for little ones to give up an activity, a friend, or a place that they're really enjoying. Developing self-regulation skills is a process, too. Music can help. Music triggers memory and pleasure. We all remember fun jingles from our childhoods and parents and children alike are conditioned to drop everything and start helping when they hear the cleanup song. So try singing the same bedtime song, getting dressed song, goodbye song, etc. Something like, it's time to brush our teeth. It's time to brush our teeth. Hi ho the dario, it's time to brush our teeth. Have you ever noticed that the tune to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is the same as the tune for the ABC song? Many children's songs are easy to sing and it turns out that the tunes 
easily work with different words. Try making up your own songs to a familiar tune. For example, let's use Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for our tune. I see Nico, how are you? What would you like to do? Let's roll the ball down the street and see if you can catch it on your feet. As you can see, they don't all have to be award winners. Encourage your child to make up songs and their own tunes too. It's fun to hear new sounds in new ways. Notice this month's book that we're sending home is Old Macamba at a Farm, which is a new take on an old tune. You can make up your own tunes for many rhyming books. One of our patrons showed us how to sing Good Night, Good Night Construction Site using the tune to Five Little Ducks. It works really well. Looking for inspiration? You can find books based on songs in the Rhymes, Songs, and Tales section of our picture book collection. Here are a couple by Jane Cabrera. You can also find song books in the nonfiction section under the number 782.42. And of course, you can always ask a librarian. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Play and Learn at Home by the Arapaho Libraries. Today, we looked at ways to build a child's ability to hear and play with the smaller sounds that make up words so that they will have an easier time sounding out words when they learn to read. And we found out that music can make transitions easier and help children develop self-regulation skills. Be sure to check back at ArapahoLibraries.org every Monday for a new video in our Play and Learn at Home series and keep playing and learning together.